Welcome back to another episode of the Big Creepy Show. special guest tonight. Please welcome for the first time ever on the Steve Weep Show, comedian and the drummer on the Kill Tony Show, Joel Jimenez. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you Dude. for coming Man, I uh, want to talk to you because I was on the I, I met you on the Kill Tony show. Yeah, that was a bizarre <laughs> experience. Yeah, I'm interested to know because when people just kind of come on, don't yeah, know what it is. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know what it was. I didn't yeah. know what I was getting myself into. Yeah, I should have done some research. Oh, it's all good. Um, the the vibe was I didn't know when to talk because yeah. the vibe I got was. Five minutes in, I'm like, oh, this is a thing where there's 10 people waiting for their little window to say something, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like, and I noticed as it went on further, like longer, I'm like, oh, they're, they're like doing punchlines. Yeah. <laughs> try, trying, trying. Yeah, or yeah, trying to do yeah. punchlines. So it was like, you know, Craig was there, you know, okay. he was sitting, uh, Craig was there sitting on the side. Okay. And, but I was like, yeah, I was, I, yeah, it was cool, but I was like, I was a little, it was a little weird. Overwhelming. Was, yeah, it was overwhelming. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it took a while to get used to it, man. Like, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to move so quick, and then now things have kind of slowed down because I've been there like four and a half years That's now. Crazy. So crazy. And you guys just went on tour. I saw you guys yeah. were in Australia. Yeah, we were shit. in Australia. That was crazy, man. So, like, I want to get into all that. Like, how did you even like meet those dudes? Like, or uh, how did that even like yeah. from the the conception? Like, what happened? Like, yeah. So they were doing it already. Like. um so there's a Kill Tony show, yeah. by the way, just to give context. Yeah, yeah. I think Shout they were doing Tony, it. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Uh, almost like five. I don't know how long they were doing it. but yeah. uh, So I, I met this guy named Pat Reagan at Open Mics. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We would go yeah, to like, yeah. the Hollywood Hotel and yeah. stuff like that. He would play guitar comedy oh, songs. Oh, I like that. I like that. And, uh, Alternative Open Mics. Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, would, uh, I grew up playing drums, mm -hmm. but I had quit for a while, started doing stand-up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I would see him and I was like, hey, if you ever want to start a band like hit me up i i can i hear like drums to your music yeah yeah yeah. he yeah, hit me yeah, up yeah. we started a band what was uh, the name of the band it's called the baby boys oh that's what's up yeah, baby yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 you guys record anything Any yeah recording? yeah we got out we Where got two people? two albums on spotify yeah okay well so how, yeah. how, how, how the uh how just the, put pat reagan into spotify or the baby boys i don't know we just dropped a new one recently oh you did okay yeah. and then it's yeah. on spotify yeah and we got a few videos on oh, uh youtube up. like we did one for Comedy Central, one for college oh, humor. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And they yeah. can find that all just if yeah, you type all in on Pat Spotify. Uh, uh, how do you spell Reagan again? Uh, R E G A N. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. Okay, yeah, for sure. Okay, and then oh, that's Reagan and yeah, Reagan and Watkins. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's him and Jeremiah. Yeah, something there was something ringing in there. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Reagan and Watkins. Yeah. Okay. So then, uh, and so yeah, because that dude, yeah, he does comedy and music. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. And so then, uh, then uh, he had like you remember you know roast battle. Yeah, yeah, um, our uh, friend, uh, our buddy Frank. Oh, Frank Castillo. Yeah, so yeah, I love that guy. We we play video games. With oh, Frank. cool, awesome. We knew Frank back when we're Destiny One. We're playing. Wow. Yeah, and wow, then cool. we were surprised. I think Craig, someone's like, he like the further he got in that bat the yeah. Comedy Central, he's like he won it. Dude, it was I was there and, the ninety one. We, we were like, 
what? Yeah. And we were happy for him. That was awesome, man. Yeah, I was there. It was like the last show they ever did at the House of Blues, That's I think. Crazy. Now they tore it down. Yeah. It's like crazy, man. Well, Frank's a homie. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah I love yeah. that guy. Yeah, he's my friend yeah. too, man. Is he never not high though? He's always. High. I have no idea. He's always big, <laughs> yeah, but I think at that at that point it doesn't really like it. Just kind of like you know he's maintaining. There, there's dude. times when we're playing video games. We we like me and Craig and like Griffin. We will we'll know when he's high because yeah. I don't, out of nowhere, he'll just go silent. <laughs> like, well, I'll be shooting the shit. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah. Use your, use your pulse rifle, you know, whatever. And then Frank, like, you won't hear nothing. Or, and he'll go, hey, guys, uh, I'm going to go to Taco Bell. Okay. Or, or he'll, say, he'll just say the Do, do you like think the silence food. is him, like, hit, like doing a bong rip? Or he's just kind of processing? No, no, processing. no. We don't hear him doing it, but gotcha. we know. It's the, his vibe. For sure. Yeah, we know. We know. We love Frank, by <laughs> yeah. the way. Yeah, well, I love Frank, too. Frank's man. the family great here. dude yeah, yeah for yeah. sure he's been on here great you're it was a matter of time before you were on here you know what's crazy you know, you know what i'm saying yeah Be real because i uh, feel like i made this happen with my mind steve you, oh you're projecting i f- i feel like i let's did talk about yeah that. okay okay, okay it's, so, positive, it's so yeah it's so crazy thinking. dude that's crazy so, let's talk about yeah that. I've, I've been like a fan of this for a while and so i would i would uh watch it all the time then jeremiah did it and i was like it's it's fuck it's getting yeah, closer yeah, it's getting closer yeah. i would so always you pitch. thought about it at night yeah like, and i would always sitting pitch, ha- sitting there for sure yeah i would always pitch having you on kill tony just to like i was like yeah we got to get stevie weeby like yeah, on because yeah. i was trying to like finagle my way in here But it's okay it's okay because it worked out because yeah. you know what grabbed my attention what was like the the seal break the, the deal breaker uh-huh. for me where i'm like oh i gotta get him on at the end, I don't know if you remember this, but well, at the very it was end, all calculated. No, 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 oh, okay, I remember okay. all of it. But at the very end, you, uh, it was packed, and you go and make sure you y'all go get collage of the mirage. Yeah. And then once you said that, I went. <laughs> I go, oh, dude, that was that was love right there. Yeah, for sure. So that that resonated with me. Great. And I go, you know what? Yeah, that, and then. And then not only that, there's several factors. So, but whatever, if you, it's yeah. calculator, if it yeah. wasn't calculated. Well, I wanted to let you, you did, know there was you, a mutual respect. You did you know? it. You did it with precision. <clears throat> Great. Because the skateboarding thing brought us together. Oh, for too. sure. Because you had your board and it was similar to like when um, my band opened him up for Deltron and he had a skateboard. Oh, shit. It was an entryway. Del had a skateboard? Yeah, he had a skateboard. Oh, wow, on. He cool. was in the bigger green room, like Dope. the real green room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I'm, I've been a, like, I've been a fan since high school. Yeah. And so that's like, a, it was a dream of mine to wow. like meet him, but then we're opening up for him. Yeah. And then he had his board and that was my entryway. One of the best voices in hip hop, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So just, yeah, iconic. Yeah, yeah, just iconic. That's awesome. But uh, when you had your board, I'm like, oh dude, what's up? What kind of trucks you got? You yeah, know how it is sure. with skaters yeah, yeah, yeah. and shit. Yeah. Like it's like, yeah. oh, what kind of wheels you got? Yeah, it brings everyone together. So that together. like brought us like, like that. Love it. So like, let's talk about more of this okay. positive, like that shit worked. Yeah, I mean, just that, that dude. Or what? I think so. I think a lot of I don't know how much I believe. Yeah, I think it does. Think all it of does. that, but yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. but I've had a lot of like moments in my life that I feel that I've um, sort of thought about and they've happened. I, I I don't know if it's the thoughts that make it happen or if thinking about it makes you work towards making it happen. Maybe it's if a combination of both. I think so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's not like you you could you know that's why there's you know the, like that thing the secret mm-hmm. there's a yeah. book called the secret yeah, for it's sure. all yeah. about like um quantum physics yeah. and the 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 power of positive like projecting and yeah. thinking i believe that but then i also believe what you you, you have to do some step work as yeah. well and shit, yeah so you can't just sit yeah, around you can't just thinking, sit, yeah. yeah thinking of it so yeah man that's so crazy well you know what you're here now yeah and what then a it's trip. like you know what? Oh, what do you think about like? What do you think about the platform? I, you know, this? We, we, yeah, me and Craig, we talk about. Yeah, what do you think? I mean, as far as what? Like, well, just, just the whole setup. I and, love it. Yeah, this is like the shit. You know, this is like when I you was, relate this related to. Yeah, absolutely. It resonates with. Yeah. You. Yeah. I think you find your audience or whatever. You know, people mm-hmm. that. I mean, this is like I could. I would live here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this for, is you, like this, you yeah. Could, the skateboards like if roll I were to move bed. out and you didn't have a place I'd be like hey it's open and yeah. you'd be here next I'd week I'd be exactly yeah I'll be here tomorrow <laughs> little drums a uh, kid in the <laughs> corner right. yeah piss off all the neighbors um, so what is it about like where are you originally from Let's. I want to get into okay, it cool. man yeah Sweet. yeah where are you originally from Northeast LA Frogtown I'm from Frogtown from- yeah hell yeah so shout out to Money Mark uh, our, our homie Money okay. Mark from the Beastie Boys yeah shout out to Mark is 
he, his shits in frog time really as well. cool yeah, he's awesome. got a whole studio hell there. yeah dope yeah, yeah it's so changing you're around, dude you're around well you're around during the i want to talk about the gang there's yeah like, yeah yeah some gangs yeah there. in the 90s because it's changed now because of it's um, gentrified g- for sure, yeah. and yeah. everything but when <clears> i <throat> i'll give you a story when i first I, I moved from uh arizona to my brother's couch uh before my brother made it okay he was living on sanborn Okay, I think um, I've heard you talk about that. Yeah, we yeah. man lived with you guys or no, something. No, no, it was our, a homie, uh, Larry Blossom. He was okay. uh, getting flow from toy machine skateboard. Okay, he was cool. trying to make it as a like a like skateboard. Yeah, for sure. It was like a skate house. Gotcha. So there's Ugh. beer cans. Yeah, every, for sure. Like, you know, I, mean? I lived in a closet like the size of that closet. Yeah, that's like, near the Foot Clinic. Yeah, kind of, yeah, right? it's okay. near um the Circus of Books. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. I remember but um, I'm from Arizona, <clears> but I noticed there was some real gang shit going on because there was a o- OG uh, like gang f- uh, Chicano family on the corner and whenever I remember one day they're walking him and his home two of his homies walked down the street and everyone cleared Whoa. the path wow on. He looked like a pit bull and yeah. like a wife beat, you know, wow. and his homies that had the flat, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they were just walking. You know how they, they were like. Yeah, for you sure. Know, they're walking. Loked out. And, yeah, dude. loked out. Yeah. And then I remember like me and the local skate kids because, you know, I was like, they're, you know, there's yeah. all these younger skate kids. They're sure. like, I hate cholos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. So let's talk about Frog Town growing up yeah. around there. The it was cool, man. It was, uh, I think, mm, it's weird because when you're just around it all the time, it's not that uh, crazy. Um, dude, like, got uh, like got killed on my street uh, when I was little, and there was a bunch of shit. I, I never really, like, got involved, you know? But then when I started smoking weed and stuff, you start hanging out with them just because mm-hmm. everybody wants to blaze together yeah, or whatever. Well, you know. you go to- Marshall. I was yeah, thinking Marshall. Yeah. I went I to school that, with um, Dumbfounded. Oh, shout yeah, out to Dumb. Yeah, oh, yeah. We hung out a little bit that's in high crazy. school. Yeah. yeah. So shout out to Dumb. He's killing it, dude. Oh, yeah. That's the <clears> homie. Yeah. I saw him open up for Dilated at the Roxy like a few yeah, years I, ago. Yeah, I saw him open for um, Slug uh, mm. Atmosphere. Wow. My homie Mestiza brought Dope. me. And I think, yeah, I was, I'm sober now, but yeah. I was a little faded at the okay. time. I kind of rarely remember that. But yeah. Yeah, I'm getting... um. Yeah, yeah, with Dumb, I'm getting, you know, Aquafina. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just saw the billboard and, um, today. Yeah, I mean, awesome. she's at Amazing. The, the top of the mountain. Great. Um, but I'm getting, uh, you know, Rex Dizzy's been on here, as well as uh, Lyrics, his homie, you know, okay. the other Korean guy. Okay. He's I'm, a rapper. Yeah, yeah, okay. But there's four people <clears throat> in that documentary uh, called Bad Rap. It's okay, dope. Aquafina, Dumbfounded, uh Rex Dizzy and uh, lyrics. Dang, yeah. awesome! So you know, Hell it's yeah. all—they're all welcome here. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is the platform. He was always yeah. good, man. Yeah, he was always. I mean, yeah. I mean, he really, um, dude. He's huge in Korea. That's he's insane. He's like the he's like the king of Korea town. Yeah, so shout yeah. out to Dom. Hell yeah, shout There's out. Murals out. Heck yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So, so what was it like going to school back then? And like, it was cool, This man. is before comedy, right? Yeah, this is pre. This is when I was just playing drums. Yeah, I was like in so punk you, bands okay, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, okay, so you were for sure. Well, so how'd you get into that? Uh, my parents got me a drum set when I was like 14 for Christmas. I was always like banging on the desk and mm-hmm, teachers mm-hmm, hated me mm-hmm, for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then they got me a kit. And uh, like within like six months, I was doing like the talent show, like playing like Ramones That's, and like oh, Rancid yeah. and stuff like that. How'd but, you yeah. get into that? What resonated <clears throat> uh, with the music? How did like that resonate punk? with it? Yeah, Probably like skate, skating, you know, the skate videos. Mm-hmm. You watch like skate videos, the music and those. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, I I was uh you know shout out R I P Neil Pert but I was like um if that was what I started listening to I don't know if I would have ever started playing drums because it would have seemed too hard to grasp yeah yeah where yeah, like yeah. punk was like oh I can like I can figure this out I think I could do this yeah yeah so it just made me believe that it was That's possible crazy. you know and then just taught myself you know DH has been on here too yeah yeah I heard that one that's cool that's man. like my homie yeah that's yeah, dope yeah, man yeah, yeah. hell yeah I didn't get into it later later mm-hmm. oh because I grew up with like more underground yeah four track hip-hop like listening to like Beastie Boys Far yeah. Side Boogie Monsters stuff dope. like that yeah 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 and but then I didn't get into it later and then because like people like hey because the bad their bad brains are fucking sick yeah too, for sure yeah, yeah but uh I like my my friend Jesse tried to get me into it like there's like a punk store on Melrose and this is when I was so close. Headline off. records? Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. And he, We went in there and I didn't recognize any of the stuff because I was only familiar with certain types of music. Yeah. But then I didn't, you know how like sometimes it takes a while and then your mind just opens up? Yeah, it for sure, yeah. Open up to anything and everything. Yeah. So the, yeah, it happened and I'm like, dude, this is really good shit, yeah. you know? 
yeah, when you're younger, you're super like closed minded. Are you kind of like you latch on to that one thing because it's your sort of like the badge you wear? Yeah, yeah. Who's the dude from Minor Threat? Like Ian, Ian McKay. Yeah, McKay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like sure. I mean, he's like well spoken. Yeah, and for sure. They're like well spoken, like very intellectual, smart dudes. Yeah. You know? and, that stuff all informed yeah, yeah, like my yeah. politics and everything well, just and the all music. that. Yeah. So you like listen to the lyrics? Yeah, like Dead Kennedys. You know, definitely like yeah. you start you start listening Should to Jello the lyrics. Would be crazy here. That would be awesome. Jello. He's yeah. That'd be Let's amazing. Let's put it out there. Yeah, Let's Jello. It. So Jello Biafra. Come on the Stevie um, Weeby show. Yeah, you're always welcome. I don't know if you're living in Europe. Um. So yeah, I don't DH know where he lives. Down here, uh, maybe France or I don't okay. know. But you're always welcome here. On Did you just guess that? You're just thinking he would. I'm just him. guessing. Okay. Just, yeah, I do it, this it all the time. It makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could happen. Um, so, and then please, there was. <laughs> you never know who's watching or listening. Yeah, you really That's don't. That's the thing. That's yeah. the th I want to get to that too. Okay. You don't know. We don't know who's you listening. Don't. You yeah. don't know. You really well, don't. I don't know. Uh huh. It could be some person you never think. Yeah. Some one of you, someone you look up to. For sure. And they'd be like, you know. They're a fan. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. you didn't even know. That's, it. This, that's why we, we're, you know, this is crazy. Well, this kind of stuff we're doing. <laughs> so you're, you're going to Marshall, and then like, yeah. then what? Yeah, keep, keep you just going. scared me a little bit right what, now. What do you, what do you, <laughs> you? When you start to think about that, you're like, who is? I had a moment right now of like, who's who's watching? Yeah, and then you just start like to think. You go like, fuck. I hope I'm not born. You know, you you. I can't really get into. I can't even like think about that, or else I won't. This will. I'll, I'll freak out. You know what? I think about that, but like, cause we 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 have discussions on this all the time. Cause no matter what we do, let's say yeah. it's the funniest, it's the most you know fun time. We yeah. didn't mess up once. Yeah. Someone out there in the internet, oh, some I troll know. out there, is, some is, loser. They're gonna, they're gonna find <laughs> something to nitpick. Yeah. So no matter what you do, what you say, they're gonna find something. Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> See, at, that you're scaring at, me even more. I dude. mean, they've said. <laughs> I mean. Oh, I don't want to get into it, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know oh, I get it. Yeah. Um. So, like, okay, you're you you're so you're a kid, you're you're listening to punk. You're in these punk bands. You're going to Marshall. So, the, what next? Um, I don't know, man. Skating. You know, I've I had. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like I had like no direction from like maybe fourteen through other than music, but I didn't mm -hmm. really like think big. You know, I just like. Wanted to be in a punk band and didn't really think about my future too much. Yeah. I dropped out of high school in the 10th grade. Or, you know. Yeah. That's cool. I hated school from like yeah. kindergarten, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, Marshall it. was a little kind of like, it was kind of, was it rough a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. could be. Yeah, for sure. They, they, they had like the track system. So like, yeah. I guess like I was hanging out with a lot of the kids that were sort of near the Vista area, you know, the theater, like oh, right there. Like, oh man, uh, I... That's crazy. I had a crazy date there. Uh, I met some. She was a Hispanic girl. Okay. Um, and she went to Marshall too. Okay. And dude, that was a nightmare, dog. She. What happened? It was like a chola nightmare. Okay. Bro. Like, <laughs> shit, straight up getting off the. Hey, bus. what's up, Stevie? <laughs> you know, off the bus. We gotta go, hey! I'm uh, pregnant. Oh, and I'm like, shut up! What, what, it's yours. What, what do you <laughs> like, there's something going on. You got, there's something wrong, eh? <laughs> and I'm like, I gotta what? clock in in ten minutes. So I had to go talk to Eddie Martinez, my supervisor at a Coffee, you know, Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf on Argyle and Sunset. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. right. You know, it's right by the Nickelodeon there. It's That's right, right by the Palladium. Okay. Right okay. by the Palladium. Okay, cool. And I'm like, Eddie, oh, I can't work. He's like, yeah. What's going on? I'm like, oh, uh, there's this girl. And, <laughs> Oh my god! And then you know, you know, you know how. How is. did you meet this girl? At Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. Oh, she walked. Okay, yeah, I used okay. to hook up with like blueberry scones. Wow. And, you know, like at the end of the, the shift, you like, you know, when you're working the night shift, you have to throw away a yeah, lot of the pastries. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they make you. So she'd come in, I'd hook her up. Wow. Man, but you know, back and you just then, didn't know she was crazy. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. I, I should have known because you know when you said Vista Theater. Yeah. Cause we had a date there. We went to see uh, Lord of the Rings. What was the oh, second shit. Lord of the Rings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The two, two towers. Two towers. Two towers. <laughs> so we're in the two That's towers. A long ass Chilling. movie. It too. was packed, dog. It wow. was packed. We're sitting there, in the. It was packed. Okay. And you know how that's a pretty big theater. Yeah, it's nice. And literally the first five minutes, she's talking loud, oh, like, no, "Oh my god!" Dude. You know, she's saying something to me, and then someone said something. Hey, and then she goes. Oh hell no! <laughs> and like she like made a scene like oh, loud fuck, in dude. the theater. She goes, "Oh hell no! You don't blah blah." You know, yeah. and I'm just like, "Wow!" And that was it. And then the the, the usher came down and like, and then back then, uh, remember Tang's Donuts? Back yeah, in the day? I do. I yeah. used to go there. They had man. those yeah. like yeah, remember yeah. Them? they had two dollar little 
For sure. Submarine sandwiches. You yeah, know, yeah, the yeah, little, the sandwiches. yeah, yeah, the sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the baguette, little $2. Yeah. Yeah. They're gone now. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. But Somebody tagged Wu next yeah, to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wu that? Tang. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, Wu, uh, shout out to Tang uh, right. Donuts. Hell but yeah. that was the spot back Tangs. then. Um, it was in like East Yeah, Coast. we would smoke weed Silver like right Lake. around yeah, there yeah, and go, yeah, to, yeah. go to Tang's and stuff. All the Asian dudes, or they'd be playing cards or chess out there. Man, I don't even remember a lot of it, man. That's so long ago, dude. Yeah, we went I'm 32 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm in my 40s. Maybe 15 when I was going there and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So my buddy had a uh, an apart. His uncle owned El Chavo, okay, which was yeah, that Mexican spot. So he had like an apartment above the restaurant, yeah, and yeah, so we yeah, would yeah. hang there, smoke out, and then go to go to Tang's and hang out around there. Yeah, but, Tang's was a spot. Dude. Yeah, they had the sandwiches and the donuts twenty four seven. I still fuck with Garage Pizza sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's right in there. Yeah. They, have the, they have the ramen place in there. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, pretty yeah. good. So like Frogtown, like was it? Um, so you didn't get into tagging or yeah, I got into all that. Yeah. So were you in a tagging cruise? Not that? really. No, I was yeah. always kind of like a bit of a. I was never really good at it. I but, never got like the spray technique down, you know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I, I would do like stickers and stuff in yeah. high school. What does all city mean? All city means you're fucking up everywhere, dude. Yeah, just because a lot yeah. of people might know there might be okay. a kid from like the Midwest. Yeah, who for sure. Know. Well, I mean, fucking These are um, metropolitan terms. What's the fucking? I learned later in L.A. What's the documentary, dude? The big. Uh, um, not wild style, no. Style Wars. Style Wars. Yeah, yeah. That's a that, great that, fucking movie, great. man. You let's, know, let's, uh, let's put that out to the yeah. Public. Everybody go watch Style purposes. Wars. You know, it's like a it's a movie about graffiti in New York um, in the eighties, right? And the hip-hop, culture yeah. and culture It's yeah. mostly graffiti, but it talks a lot about yeah, yeah. It's, you know what I thought was really cool? The kids, the kids come off really well. I thought like some of them, yeah. they're like pretty like educated. Like it's like it's nice hearing them talk about their art and sort of. Yeah, I thought yeah. the parents came off lame, kind of. You know, yeah. like. The it was sick though. It, the aesthetic. Yeah, it's of amazing. Just the seventies. Yeah, scene I and those guys. That. Yeah. Even the way the kids were dressed mm-hmm. and the way they talk is that the New For York sure. thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine this: Star Wars, but in like near Frogtown. Yeah, that'd be dope. That would have been dope. There was a lot of dope crews in the in the name. You know, under the two freeway was a dope like graffiti yard. I used yeah, to go, like, like what name some of them? I know they're yeah CBS oh, OTR CBS, MTA yeah. Yeah, SH. MTA. Uh, so my cousin, I don't know how much, I don't know what, can you, whatever. So I had a, I had you a, could get, you could shout out his yeah, graffiti name. I had a yeah. cousin from SH. Yeah. Uh, yeah shout yeah. out to Demise. Yeah. Dem- oh, okay. Yeah. I, I may have seen that up. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's but much, like Panic, you know, Precise, okay, yeah. um, Acme, those were all dudes mm-hmm, from, mm-hmm. from SH. Uh, yeah. Now describe, cause a lot of these, cause we, this could be, we're sounding for a person who is not familiar yeah. with this. Name, what are the their acronyms, right? These crews. yeah, like so CBS OTR, is like can't, can't be, be stopped. stopped. Yeah, MTA is, is uh, um, Metro or something. I don't even. Uh, I know uh, STP was setting the pace. SH, uh, OTR on the run. On the run, yeah. I LOD uh, yeah. looks on dope. Was okay, a big yeah, one. yeah. So uh, there are th- li- usually three uh, letter. Yeah. Uh, ac- uh, that stands for something. Yeah, SH yeah, yeah. was uh, um. Seeking heaven, yeah. which was like you know getting up, like always getting up, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so so I I um that was cool, man. I used to go down to t- to the yard and like see all the new stuff all the mm-hmm, time, and mm-hmm. uh, it's that's a whole different world, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah. You know, I'm like, not privy to that. I, I got to be around either. it a little bit, yeah. but I don't really. I'd be like a poser if I was talking about really. Me like, too. Being I a was. I like. I was. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm similar to that. Like yeah. just even right this area, we won't say what this specific area yeah. is. Me living in this place here yeah i got i used to go to this bar with the writers around here cool. oh, from yeah. mta Dope. um uh yeah you remember chaka no the dudes i hung out were like lower uh ratio mm-hmm. um wes okay um and then um a couple other dude there's another chaka one. was like the big dude like in the he was like everywhere like um no i'm not okay He's um I think it's it even says Chaka on Dave Grohl's bass drum in the Smells Like Teen Spirit oh, video. Okay, yeah, yeah, so he yeah. got charged with like a million dollars. So he worth really of damage. got out there. He he was huge. Like he made it yeah. like mainstream, you know? Um yeah. So what does it take for a kid to go all city? Is that a lot they of have t- to just steal a lot of cans, a Probably. Markers? Skip yeah. school, like how do? What does that take? Maybe do that? at night, you know, you just get you, you, sneak f- out of you house, go out, yeah, probably sneak out at midnight. Yeah, you're there till five. I mean, in LA, it's probably harder. Yeah. New York's probably easier to get up everywhere. So you know? how would you to a like a white kid in the Midwest yeah. who doesn't know? Because this is more yeah. like you yeah. know what I'm saying. They LA, probably yeah. East Los talk. Yeah. What What's the pr- is that? So to you're advertising your name, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's like um, you know, and I think what's interesting is like one of the last frontiers of like 
true free speech. Yeah. Because is you that. can because you can you're not it's not censored at all. You could go out with a can, write a political message, write your name, whatever it is, it's fully uncensored. It's illegal as fuck still. Yeah, yeah. Um so I, I don't know, I just think it's cool. I think people have a want to be noticed, you know? They yeah. could have been they could have been a comic, they could have been an actor, but maybe like they found that and that that's what it was and it's like a way to be seen around the city, you know. There's a ninja element as well. There is like for a, sure, like yeah. a ninja dangerous, man. Like cuz mm. even like hearing these guys at the bar talk, a lot of they're talking about like they would have harnesses disguises. and shit. Oh shit. Like they would like dress a certain way but they yeah. dress like like they worked as a janitor. Yeah. And like they even you know uh what's her that um the, the ink that doesn't uh, mar, mar marsh ink yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so i went over to one of their houses like this uh, when i was drinking mm -hmm. but he had like it was like a lightsaber like it was like yeah. constructing your own lightsaber yeah and he was pouring marsh ink yeah. into this super permanent yeah, black ink like, yeah it was like some kind of experiment yeah but they got Remember mean like, streaks mean streaks look was, yeah. i only did it when i was buzzed at the bar gotcha. and they th they're like you were me too me too i'm like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. and then yeah they handed me the pen and yeah. i'm like and i'm like all right and i would do like yeah i don't know i wish i, I had write. better style i, I love I, I, it my I love style sucked too and Man. then i would always like go and like you know how like in the back of bar the dumpster yeah 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 it's already sure. tagged up but i would <laughs> yeah. like the the the, the, the like the very corner i would do something yeah. stupid what on would that. you you don't remember you didn't I have a name i think i would do anything. it even in korean my okay. like it would be my tag in korean but like okay. who could even read that yeah Koreans. but i was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but how many koreans yeah. are into that i don't know i mean if you're korean and you do graffiti uh hit up oh, stevie you're right yeah let's so if you're korean <laughs> yeah wait, that's all let's do that. if you're korean and you're into graffiti and you're in Koreatown? Yeah. DM me. Yeah, and send him some markers. And send him some stuff. Send me some stuff. Uh, yeah, because we're always looking for sponsors. Yeah, for sure. And then we'll get you on here as the first Korean graffiti artist. Perfect. I love it. I love it. You can even blur out their yeah. face. if we It would be like a Banksy thing. This is crazy. We're talking about this. We need, Let's get into I want to get more. I'm okay, sorry. Sure. No, no, no. Uh, I know. I want to get yeah, going all over but this place. is the, why it's good because yeah. like, I didn't expect to talk. I didn't mm -hmm. know you went to Marshall. I didn't know you're from there. Yeah. I, also, um, I went to a few times went to Juvie, the skate shop, and I know you guys knew like dude, Kalisto and those guys. The, I, yeah. That was my roommate. Very cool. Yeah. I think I think uh, they had the mini ramp in there. It was one of the first dude, places I dropped in. That was my roommate. Cool. So Juvie was I live with Cleek still. Yeah. Cuz I cause my that was my brother's roommate. Cool. That was I lived with him at the skate Okay, apartment. okay, cool. My brother moved out. I took over that yeah. uh, the rent there. Yeah. Cool. And then um he got financing from my brother. Cool. To do Juvie. Yeah. Which uh you know was a skate shop yeah. um and then yeah and before I sandblasted that whole fucking thing with him Dope. and he would you know we'd eat at that corner little spot yeah. you know it's like hot dogs yeah, or I don't know, now it's like chicken or something, something. Like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's crazy that you remember that so that yeah we would go after school and there, there was like a 6 foot like mini ramp in there maybe yeah. maybe 5 or yeah, something yeah yeah, yeah yeah you know Jamil um, then Jamil still Jamil um, uh i'm not sure Robin? okay maybe you probably know yeah um but so you you damn that's crazy and then when did you get into comp like the whole comedy and yeah like, yeah how did you get into that i stopped playing music i was like over being in bands because it was always like so stressful like i always felt like i was the most dedicated member in any band i was yeah, in yeah, yeah they'd probably disagree but uh um got tired of like you go on in 30 and your bass player is like an hour away and you're like panicking that you're not gonna make it and got sick of dealing with people i i, I loved comedy my whole life but i thought only like superheroes could do it like how because because mm -hmm. george carlin was my favorite and chris oh, rock yeah, and you're like yeah. there's no way you could do that mm -hmm. and so um they they wrote a play about Frogtown, and they they had these flyers for like an open audition who's they again um there was this this i was part of a theater company called cornerstone okay, theater cool, company cool, cool, yeah cool. I just make sure so they put out these flyers for an open audition my mom knew i always wanted to act or whatever so she gave me the flyer went to the audition got the part for for that so i did this whole play that director started like passing my name around to so i started doing like theater like uh professional theater for a while um through that, I met a guy who worked backstage who did improv uh, in Boyle Heights at this place called Casa 101, which was like, so they would teach this free improv class or like donation class. Basically, this guy, Luke, 
had gone as far as he could at UCB, as far as he could at Second City, as far as he could at Groundlings, kept all of his notes and taught like a free or donation based class Damn, in Boyle that's, Heights. That's cool. Yeah. So I went there, learned improv from him for free. Wow. And through that, realized like things that I said made people laugh. And I was like, maybe yeah. this is possible. So I started writing for like three months and then went to my first open mic right here at the, well, around uh, at the Bronson Bar in uh, in Hollywood. All right. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I took a shot at it uh, years ago. Mm-hmm. I did Marty's uh, yeah. Rock Ugh. Paper. Yeah. Meltdown. You know, I did. I went to Marty's yeah, once or yeah, twice. Yeah. yeah. That was my spot. Rough. That's a rough <laughs> yeah. room, dude. Shout out to Marty. Yeah. yeah I think it's gone now, right? Oh, is it? I think Marty's is done. Yeah. Really? Did you ever get your face on the wall? No. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. I was gone before. Okay. Well, for right. what? For, I don't you, know. You're paying be- him five <laughs> bucks every time you want to get on stage that when no one's listening. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking yeah. rough, dude. So, okay. So, you did that. Like, so how did you get from doing mics to like meeting yeah. Jeremiah and yeah. Tony? Like, how did that like? So, that, so back to the Pat thing was yeah. Pat had a set at Roast Battle one night where he it was like, he killed. He fucking killed in front yeah. of everybody. He gets a CD to Tony. Tony actually listens to it and Tony says, Hey, I got this show called kill Tony. I want you to come be like the band leader on the show. Pat goes to be the band leader. I didn't have a car at the time. So I would just roll with Pat and sign up as a comic. Yeah. yeah, yeah and, yeah. uh, I got on it a few, uh, like one time as a, just a comic before even. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, we were up in the belly, so I, I didn't have a kit that would fit the in there. Room. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. it was real little up there, you know, like a kit, like your drum kit. Yeah. A yeah drum yeah, kit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, one day I was at a thrift store and I found a little kid's like a toy bass drum. Mm-hmm. And I took that to a pro drum shop and like put uh, like nice heads on it. Yeah, you modified yeah, it. Yeah. Doc. I you called Pat. It. I put like, yeah, I called yeah. Pat and I was like, hey, I got a drum kit small do enough. You got to do Yeah. You have to do That's it. That's right. That's yeah. right. Kids fucking hustle and bustle, dude. Kit, a kitty drum yeah. kit to fit in the belly room. Mm-hmm. Keep going. So I made it and uh, I go, hey, I got a kit small enough to fit. He goes, come with me this Monday. I went with him and I was like, I never want to leave. I love this place. I like sank my claws into it, dude. I was like, Tony, uh, Tony uh, was real nice to me, Brian. Um, after the first time I did stand up on the show, Tony told me, uh, hey, every time you're here and you see me, I want you to say hi to me. Oh. So I started doing that. To Tony? Yeah, to Tony, yeah, like saying hi to him. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And so I, uh, yeah, got the got got in there and then um. <sighs> Yeah, I would start feeding Pat jokes kind of from the back because, yeah, you know, yeah. we roast people and mm-hmm, I was like, mm-hmm. hey, you should say this. But sometimes it wouldn't work because it wasn't in his voice mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or by the time he said it, it was too late. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. one day Pat goes, you should say it. And so I got up, said Whoa. it. And then, uh, yeah, when things, you know, luckily started started going well with the voice yeah. of the show on the 200th episode. They gave me a mic and then, um, yeah, the whole like uh, it all started, man, it felt like four and a half years later. Here I am. They're all my buddies. Got to go to Australia. Got to go to Europe Dude, last year. I saw that. I was yeah. stoked. For I'm you sponsored guys. by Ludwig Drums now. That's it's like crazy. Pretty cool. You want to give them a shout yeah. out? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Ludwig. Thanks for the tools yeah, to act shout a fool. Out to Ludwig Drums. You, you're making this guy keep rolling. Yeah, you know it's what amazing. I'm Dream that, come true, yeah, man. That's crazy. I get to go to Nam this year because of that's them, so that'll be fun. Hey, let's give yeah. some advice to aspiring comics and musicians. Sure. Um, like, what what kind of advice would you give these kids out there trying to pursue like? what you're doing man uh i just say just work man just fucking write get up as much as you can um be nice to people not because they're gonna help you out but because it's like the right thing to do and then eventually like the friends that you make start doing things you know like we all like like tony and then we always talk about how like a rising tide lifts all ships right like Mm -hmm. there's this weird famine a rising tide lifts all ships i freaking love that. yeah right Rising tide Cause, lifts all shit. Yeah, because there's that this weird uh, collective. Exactly. Don't don't sink the ship. Yeah. What's the opposite? If your boy's doing well, like give get you know let him do well. Don't look at him like hey why are you getting this? I'm not getting this. Oh wait wait let, let's <clears throat> talk about that psychology. Sure. Yeah. So if your man's doing good. Yeah. That's good for everyone. Up. Yeah, that's, that's good, good for, for everyone. The, everyone in. Yeah. Who knows if he gets a show, he needs writers, they're going to hit you up. Because like, guess what? He might have room on his boat for you exactly, while yeah. you're going to a destination. For sure, yeah. Oh, man, we should have told that to a... Uh, oh, we'll talk about that. But also, but also, it's like... but, <laughs> but And you that. can tell when people are nice to people just because cause, um, they want something from it. it there's a difference. Yeah, no, you there's know? a huge difference. I mean, yeah. with you, like, I didn't get that from you. I authentically liked you. Yeah, first. I did too, my man. My first interaction with you, in my mind, I'm like, I, I fucking like that guy. 
that was part of the appeal of listening to the show was like I always felt like we would we would hit it off. Yeah, I was even telling Craig, it's like, yeah, yeah that guy was fucking cool. Man, you know what's even that was cool. I, I mean, think that was crazy. You know, I used to be a barista, and I think you may have come I in was a at one point. Yeah, I, really? I, oh, I, I coffee bean. bean. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. But I and it might so not have been. So where did you work? Uh, there's a place in in Echo Park called Mugshot. And you had to work the espresso machine. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> but it was either you or some. Did you, um? Did, were your parents in town? I don't remember if it was you or um, Bryce. That other, I, I can't remember who it was. Somebody came in with the Tiger Belly sweater. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but so Yo, Bryce ain't here no more. Okay, oh, yeah. oh, sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up, dude. Yeah, it's okay. There's no hard feelings. Oops. No, edit that okay. out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't have to. No, we don't have to edit that. No, there's no ill will. But that's the, but that's the thing. You know what? <clears throat> with this thing, let's talk about it. It's because like we we can't forget this is L. A. Yeah. And shit. And trust me, when I first moved here. I didn't like the attitude. Yeah. I was literally eating Thai food with my brothers, groups of people in the industry. Yeah, for and sure. And I'm straight from Arizona, right? Yeah. And so just the nature of that dinner was really awkward. Because yeah. it was the first time I heard, oh, so Steven, what do you do? Yeah. Oh, Steven, what do you do for work? Yeah. Steve, you know, and I'm like, what the I, got I defensive. hate that I was stuff, dude. Defensive. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean what I do? Yeah. What, 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 what's wrong with these people? Yeah, for sure. Why did asking? But then you're here, and it's like, oh, if they're a photographer, they could possibly do headshots for you. Yeah. If they're a producer, they could do this. If they're a writer, they're, they that's an opportunity. For I, them I'm to more write of a fan of like like friends. Um, I like more authentic. that are talented. Yeah. Than like industry. He- I'm like so, and I know it sucks because I need it, and it might end up fucking me in the end because I like mm-hmm. the art stuff. Yeah. I'm not really good at the business. I gotta get like this year. I want to get like merch and like a podcast and figure out my own. Dude, thing. whenever you're there, I'm there. Yeah. If you, I want to be a guest, yeah. I want to be the, oh, one of the oh, first top, yeah, of top course, ten. Of like, course. Please, at least yeah, for sure. give me that. I love it. I want of course. Top, the, All right, the, cool. The first ten. You heard it here the, first. You heard it first. What can we, let's think of names. What can we name? Oh, I got the name already. Oh, you don't want to say yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, no, you say it? it? Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's put it uh, right there. Mostly sorry. Mostly sorry. Yeah, it's my Instagram handle. I'm very like, I think it'll. Mostly sorry. Yeah. But I'm I also open to suggestions. Too. You got any other? No, no, I like that. Mostly. Yeah, mostly, mostly sorry, sorry with Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that with. Uh, yeah, I could see that with a cool font. Yeah. And then, you know, like maybe in cursive. Yeah. Joel, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like those. Maybe we get a Korean graffiti shows. artist to do it yeah, for me. Yeah, get a Korean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe he could do live like murals during, <laughs> you know, keep it fresh. We're all fucking inhaling fumes in yeah. there. Hey, no, no, look, so I'll give you ideas right <laughs> yeah, now, just okay. off the cuff. Okay. So you could be the first podcast to 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 <laughs> spot to put the spotlight on East Los Graffiti okay. um, artists. So er, with each episode, you'll have a, like a new artist doing a live yeah. mural yeah. or piece while. It's going While on in real time. So at the very end, you know how like the Kill Tony has yeah, the yeah, artist? Yeah, for sure. And at the very end, they have a portrait. Yeah. But this way, not only do you, are you um, showcasing a new guest, but you're showcasing a new artist yeah. as well as their art. Maybe we do it when you come on. I'll do it. Okay. I mean, I haven't, I have, my art's a no, little. No, no, no. I'll interview you and we'll have yeah, an artist and doing we'll something. Bring, yeah, and yeah. Then we'll have the Korean guy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, please. <laughs> That'd be amazing, It'd dude. be cool, yeah. Seems Cause stressful. Because that, that way, check this out. Because that's what. No, no, it won't. Because okay. that way, because if you want to, we could bypass the fumes. Okay. We'll have, them bring, we'll have them bring their streakers and their other supplies. Yeah, okay, cool. Their paintbrushes, yeah, their watercolor, whatever. Sure. But then not only that is like, you, we can even sell that. Yeah. At the, end, <laughs> at the end of the piece, you could be like, you could be like, all right, yeah. that's the end of the episode. Hey, Marco, come out here. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, Marco <laughs> whatever, is such. Whatever, no, Marco, it, it Marco. would totally be yeah, Marco. Yeah, yeah, hey, Marco, Marco. Marco, come out here. And then he would have the the piece. Dude, yeah. And then it's like you could have a, like a bidding war right there. Do, <laughs> do like a YouTube like a live, do it live. feed. Yeah. After be like, okay, any bids for? Yeah. And then boom, boom. Have and then Venmo it. Proceeds, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. Get, you get like 40%, they get 60 Yeah, for whatever. sure. Whatever. I love it. I need to figure out ways to Dude, I don't think, start monetizing. I, did, I don't think there's a podcast like that that's yeah. doing that. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know, another thing that resonated with your story is the moment you kind of gave up on drums and music. Uh-huh. You kind of like put that aside and th- did this other thing. And then it came around yeah. to meet you yeah. at a place where you never expected For it. For sure. Because the same happened to me, the same happened to me yeah. as well. 
I think they said like uh, in Steve Martin in his book, he said that like you'll use everything you've ever learned in your life like to do stand like when you do stand up that everything that you've ever done will kind of come to you know oh, wow. come back for you. What's the you name know? of that book? It's a famous uh, Born book. Standing Up. Born it's standing really up, good. And then yeah, he has the bunny ears. On I the believe cover. so. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good book. That's a good book, right? Maybe first book I ever. So would you uh, recommend that to uh, aspiring yeah. comics? Yeah, I would say read that. Read George Carlin's biography too. Is really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, Did you read a lot of? What are some other books that you uh, read that kind of inspired you since you brought it up? Uh, those two. I mean, I, I like right. I I, I read uh, I like biographies, I guess. Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if they inspired me to do stand up, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Did improv help you with your stand-up? For sure, yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. I think what I what I noticed though is like I'm too selfish for improv. Like I would think of a joke and be like, "This is gonna fucking kill," and I mm-hmm, drop mm-hmm. it in the scene, and now I'm like stuck in this scene. Yeah. With whatever joke I made that bombed, and now it's like the group would like get upset with me because I, cause I was kind of looking out for myself, you know, right. Right. I right. wanted to be the funniest. You know? And the, and so like fr- from, from, from the music and, and kill Tony did like, cause I noticed that like, cause like when I was backstage, like Rick Kosick was, yeah, back yeah, there. yeah. You got to so, get him on here. I tried. Really? He's my I tried, buddy. Let's see if I can like, talk I, to I was him. trying and I was sitting back there, but I don't think he knew like my my. Did you ask him? You asked him. Yeah, no, no, no. I was getting there. I was getting. I was warming it up. I was warm because I knew who he was. Yeah. But I think my approach was wrong. Yeah. Because it was like because he he probably thought oh he's just some skater kid who knows me from Big Brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't know. I would. I would have. I should have approached it more on like, hey, I I have this platform and blah blah blah. But I was more like, hey, are you? You know, are you? Blah blah blah. And then like I could tell like you could kind of sense energy and everything. He's my friend. I'm going to Nam with him on Thursday. I'll I'll bring it up. Yeah, holler at him. I will. Just this is what you say to him. Just say, hey, you know that little. (laughs) This is what you say that little Korean guy. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. You know. I was just on his thing and. You know, you know, say that, you know, he's had other skating, you know, Andrew yeah. Roy was on his thing, yeah. Willie Santos was, because I want more yeah, skaters, Yeah, Willie dude. Santos, damn, shout out to Willie yeah, Santos. Yeah, shout out to Willie, wow. shout out to Willie, the OG. Hell yeah, that's dude. The, that's the man right there. Bird Willie's house, the man. Right? Um, yeah. But it's like, hey, you know, this is, the, this is a, this is his platform. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know who I reached out? You remember Chris Markovich? Yeah, he was an artist. Yeah, right? he's an artist. Too, he's had some he's a, cool. He was a pro skater. At yeah, one time all tatted, huge. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I tatted. remember that dude. He responded to me too. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta lock him in. But dang, I, dude, trust me. But day one would be the yeah. Day, oh, day one, mean, would, day be one would be sweet. He's day so one. nice. I met him uh, a while back. I ran the skate park in Frogtown for oh, ten oh, years. Oh, you, yeah. So I he, have, I have a day one. You tell me your day one story, okay. and I'll tell you mine. Um. So we're talking about day one song. You first. Mine is not that. Okay. So I'm at Stoner Skate Plaza years ago. Yeah. And I'm just, I think I was smoking at the time. Okay. I was smoking or doing something, sitting like near, you know, like the bank, the bank, very Korean. And then mm. I noticed that this guy dropping in and he was doing like a flip trick to Nose Manny. Ugh. And I'm like, oh, that kind of looks like Day One Song. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't pay it no mo- mind. He lost his board. The next thing, you t- his try, he lost his board during one of his tries. And and then I saw him. I go, that's day one song. So yeah. I went running to get his to fetch his board. Yeah. And then I, I grabbed it. And once I grabbed the board, it was, it was like his setup was like a kid setup. Oh it, no yeah. no no! Oh. It was like a little popsicle stick. Yeah. And the yeah you're right. Seven point five. Yeah. Something. And the tr- front truck was like wa- like it was Super about wobbly. to come off. Yeah. And I was, I was like oh, and then I go. Oh hey, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, For sure. I froze. Yeah. Um, but I was embarrassed though. I wasn't, this wasn't, uh, in, I wasn't tripping out. There was one point whenever a way better skater, like a pro is watching me and I know they're watching me. Yeah. <laughs> I skate, uh, I skate, like I'll do the splits yeah. and like eat it. Yeah. So I remember, I don't know why he was watching me. I was trying this, tr- I was trying to, he doesn't remember this yeah. obviously. And he probably doesn't remember any of this, but I do. Yeah. I was trying a very old heel flip Mm -hmm. and i just kept on like biffing it and then uh, he was like he was uh, and i saw he was watching me and i was getting more flustered and flustered and in my mind my mind was like hamster wheel i'm like god you're blowing it dude yeah you're making you look like a fool yeah day one you're looking like a fool you're looking like you know i never landed it yeah yeah what's your story Uh, (laughs) (laughs) yeah uh nice i worked at the skate park in frogtown for like 10 years a bunch of pros would show up and like uh i was kind of like 
a pad dad. Like I had to make the kids like wear helmets and sign waivers. So a lot of them fucking right, hated safety. me. It's yeah. Okay, yeah. Safety. I needed the job. Right. 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 Uh, right. But um, so sometimes people would kind of vibe me like like you know, in a negative way. But mm -hmm. I, so I remember when he showed up, he was just like the nicest nice dude. dude. He had a Hummer. He pulled up in a Hummer. I think with like Daniel Castillo. You, you remember that oh, guy? Oh, dude, yeah. I'm a fan of his. Yeah, yeah. Chocolate, him, right? Yeah, chocolate. So I think they showed up too. together. OG chocolate. Hell yeah. Him and Chico Brennan. Yeah, Chico Brennan's man. All that. Richard, all that. Like, yeah, I Richard love Mulder. Yeah, all Paulo them. Diaz. Paulo Di he went to Marshall. That's a fucking dude, L.A. celebrity yeah. right there, dude. That's crazy you brought Paul. Because I... Like a year ago, I see him on uh, uh, Vermont. Yeah, on a bike yeah, or something, or skating. And then, and then no, he was at one of my meetings, one of my okay, yeah, yeah. meetings, and then, and then, but he was kind of like I was close to getting him, but like mm -hmm. it, it just felt. That would be yeah. a cool. That would be a but cool guy. He's the OG. OG. Yeah, yeah. Pa Paulo. He, his, um, I think they did a. Well, tell the viewers who yeah, Paulo, Paulo is. Paulo Diaz was a skater. Uh, he skate. He was part of the Bones Brigade, right? Yeah, he's part of the Bones Started Brigade. Started there, and then he went to Powell Peralta. He, not only for a that, while. he he oh, that was Powell. Yeah, he went to Chocolate. Chocolate, yeah, yeah, yeah that's chocolate. He innovated. Um, nollies. He was, yeah, nollies and like switch stuff. Yeah, like, he would he nollie would, over fucking trash oh, cans. Oh, he would nollie and, like he could nollie over this camera. Yeah, like, for sure. He had, yeah, he could nollie over every everything. Yeah, and he, he would do like a nollie hang ten type. Yeah. Like, you he, ever see where he does like the he pops onto the table and he does like the, the oh yeah front nose yeah manual. the front nose it was like, in World Tour yeah, 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 or yeah, Hot with, Chocolate uh, like Hang Ten yeah 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 and then he also had a badass uh, Impossible yeah yeah for you sure. know like the scoop he would do weird ones with his hand too, uh -huh, like, like uh -huh. hand grabs no and stuff no comply stuff. Yeah. stuff so he, he was the OG OG skater I loved it because he went to Marshall and like my buddy Dude, uh, my cousin of, Ivan went to school a with lot them of, and uh, talented motherfuckers went to Marshall yeah Leonardo DiCaprio went there he went yeah. Leonardo. Yeah, yeah. So we're big fans here yeah, of there Leonardo. You go. Can we get DiCaprio? Leonardo DiCaprio? So you they know we're, we're reaching out to Leo. Yeah. Right now they shot they, Greece. They, the the carnival scene was shot at Marshall. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, I believe, in the boiler room stuff was shot at. Oh, Marshall. that was shot at Marshall. I believe so. Yeah. That's this could all just up. be bullshit. That where's I, Marshall located? Again? It's uh, it's in Las Feliz. It's like off of uh, it's Las Feliz and Griffith Park Boulevard, like right around there. That's what's by up. the Trader Joe's. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. All that. So 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 let's go back to like yeah, the, the skate the shop place. and then meeting him. So he was yeah. a nice. Oh, guy. so I met Day One. It was okay, really nice. Yeah, and one yeah. thing I we had uh, these like metal ramps, and I was on the other side of the park. And the one thing I remember was like how loud the pop was because he was doing like blunt three sixty flip to fakies out of the ramp. So you would just hear it go. Like blunt on so, the coping yeah like you know blunt on the coping he would do blunt do on that. the coping yeah and then and tray flip out to fakie. He would tray flip out of the blunt. Yeah, to stall. fakie back into the ramp. Oh yeah, that's yeah, of course yeah, yeah. you can do that. You saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw cheese and <laughs> yeah, crackers. Of Remember you, that? Yeah, yeah. That's a good. You know what? That's crazy. That video I was obsessed with because I wasn't familiar with uh, Chris Haslund. Oh, oh. Just, yeah, him yeah, yeah. And, and mini ramps. Uh, cheese and crackers. It's it's an older. Uh, it's it was on VHS tape. Or... Yeah, I had it. Yeah, I had it on you DVD. DVD. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, it was it was an older uh, skateboarding video with just Chris Haslam and Day One. It was a. It was a mini ramp. Video. Yeah, it was just on one ramp, but they got super creative. They got super creative. Yeah, the I tire, like that they stuff. had a tire yeah. on the. Do you know uh, Richie Jackson? You ever heard of that guy? I'm a fan of his. Yeah, I love that you stuff. You know what, dude? You're saying some. I, I think I know what you're getting at. Okay. Because you like skaters that are a little different. Yeah, for sure. And I do too. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. I like. Um, there's another guy, Alex. Um, God, Alex. He, 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 uh, Alex Mol oh, Midler? Alex Midler? No, uh. he was on he was on Black Box Skate oh, well. Boards. Um look it up. Uh okay. he 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 did the front foot impossible. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't um, know. But uh, I like people How about like Gumiyagi? That. You know that guy? Yeah, yeah. That someone like yeah. that. Yeah, like so I love real, all that shit. Like the dude. weird, the weird yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Just the weird skate shit. I think because I wasn't like super technical or like super mm -hmm. good, I was like, oh, you can still have fun and create stuff mm -hmm. with this. You know, and people will shit on it and call it like circus tricks or whatever. But it's I like, don't care. If you're having fun, you're having fun. Like no, Alex Chalmers. Alex, um, he... Oh, no, no, no. He skated for um, Black, Box. Black Box Skateboards. Mole, Alex Mole. Alex Mole, okay. Alex Mole, dude, he he had like, I mean, everyone was doing this now, but he had like kickflip, late show. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, dope. but back then, yeah, like yeah, he yeah. had like really weird cool. stuff. Cool, I like Mike V when I was a kid yeah, a lot, you yeah. know. Yeah, I do too. All that stuff. But the thing mm. is, skateboarding is, you know what's weird? I was on YouTube and like 
like there's this, it was about this 12 year old phenom okay and it was like he had a, like a skate coach mm -hmm. and he was just doing oh that's park. weird no, no, no. Dude. he had a skate coach and like his parents would like built him like a whole like training wow, facility like dude. whenever they're referring to skateboarding with like training yeah. and a coach <laughs> yeah. and a facility yeah. and you know it's getting weirder because of the olympics and the way he, yeah the olympics yeah and so i don't think of it like that yeah i think of it like Graffiti yeah. or painting yeah. or drawing or yeah. something like that. You know, Dwayne Peters? Yeah. So in his documentary, he's like, I hate when people call skateboarding a sport. He's like, I got into it because it wasn't a sport. It and that's like, my exact yeah. point. Like, I grew up in the 90s, and at my uh, high school, there may have been three or four skaters. Yeah, for sure. Maybe. You meet them, and you're like and, buddies. You're like, and you Dude. never saw them on campus. They had, You know how like it's like segregated in high school? Yeah, they, sure. they were like in a the place nobody you know yeah like the way in the outskirts yeah, where sure. no one would for go sure. yeah near a trash can but or something now it's like they're everywhere red dude. bull yeah. you're cool yeah. look the i remember when it started kind of like popping off you know like tech decks and the tony hawk games really started i remember like like cholos and shit or like thuggy teens in my neighborhood would like make fun of me for skateboarding Why? and then because whatever i don't know because because they, they were all like playing basketball or handball Dude, you know like coolest, you know that, to me yeah. that's the coolest thing ever like yeah. a cholo like a guy who you think he's a gang member yeah. but he could do nolly flip yeah like he, sammy nolly, baka you know yeah, sammy yeah. baka yeah <laughs> that's that like someone like that <laughs> yeah I could just watch all day. He's dope, and dude. It's the coolest thing to me ever. Yeah, for sure. And they're wearing dickies. Yeah, and they're popping it. a huge ollie over yeah. the fence. I'm like, so hey, I remember, I remember game. like seeing like the them after the games and tech decks came. First they first they bought tech decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, they yeah, then yeah, yeah. then you see them with a the board and you're like, oh, I thought I was like whack because I skated. What what are you doing? Like, and they'd be like, oh, I'm just riding around for transportation, whatever. Then a week later, they're like trying no slides and stuff like that. Yeah. And, I remember yeah, like yeah. seeing it sort of like changing, you know, from, you know, just changing. Yeah. Uh, even the kids I grew up around when I lived on Sanborn, it seemed like the good kids yeah. I noticed like they were, they got, they were super good at like 14 or mm -hmm. 12 or 10 or whatever yeah, yeah. as kids, even by the taco truck and they're doing, they're, they're progressing. For sure. But then like years when I would ask about them, there would be like, Oh no, that fool, like he's dead. Yeah. Or, he does math now or, or something. Shot, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or this fool's in jail yeah. or he got caught up. It's yeah. like, that's sad because if they would have stuck with skating somehow, mm -hmm. I think that's a, the good thing about skateboarding because it provides yeah, an outlet for sure to bypass all that other shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause, yeah. Because look, because being, you know, you know that area. Kept me out of trouble. That's what I'm yeah, saying. That's what I'm for saying. Sure. Because instead of doing this stuff, you could be doing... Because that's energy. Like, yeah. It's literally, you're like, when you're on your board, you have, you're like focusing your chi energy mm -hmm. or doing that yeah and that's sure. a lot of yeah. energy right focus all focus, of that yeah opposed to let's say you don't have that you're like all right where's yeah where where's the gun <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's not cool no i know it's not Fuck you know that. what's it's crazy uh, this is going back to click uh click still when i live with him there's one of the one of these one of these kids got um one of these kids i forgot this kid's name but uh he was only like 13 mm. or he was young he got he, he got shot damn and the, you know why because he was wearing a beanie skateboarding through some schoolyard wow and that's the only reason yeah because i heard him crying that night he was crying i'm like what's going on and i found out the next day oh yeah God. and then you know all the kids were crying by the top you know yeah by the the street and I'm yeah like, for oh, sure damn that's crazy yeah our buddy at marshall our friend uh josh he got he got shot in outwater like for what uh, skating I don't know. We don't, nobody knows what happened. He was in some alley, but he was like a. Re he was probably the best skater in the school. Do you, you ever been to Marshall? No. Okay. I've heard so much about it. Though. Yeah. There's like a what is they call like the snack shagger. I forget what they called oh, it back okay, then. But yeah, uh, yeah. he would he like he was like famous for like ollieing off the like the snack the fucking oh, the food so wherever he was. He, the best one he was like the best dude, and he was like super promising, and it's like fucked, you know. So he might have been on chocolate. If yeah, he were for alive sure. Yeah. Or yeah, for sure. He might have been there. Yeah. But how many so kids crazy. do we know that that like happened to you know quite a bit? But but the thing is, um, now they even have a better chance because it's like they don't even get, have to get on companies. Let's yeah. say with just with their homies, they yeah. could just film with their phone. Instagram, and man. put it on YouTube or Instagram. They could get a following. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Back yeah, yeah, then, yeah. you didn't have that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we're already down to like five minutes. Dude. Boom, tight. It? Yeah, I it love it. It flew by. Yeah. We got you. Got to come back though. Oh, I would sure. love to. Um, yeah, heck yeah. So we gotta go you, skate. I gotta. You gotta. Dude, go I'm skate. down. Yeah, for real. I'm down. I mean, I, I, uh, we had a, our first female skater. Oh, cool. Uh, last week. Awesome. 
and she they invited me too so maybe we all could go yeah for sure because they have a small pot she she rips by the way she Dope. can kick flip I she bet. can aerial flip yeah um and dude they're that's something that never existed too. Yeah. Female skater. Yeah. Alyssa Steamer was the only one. The yeah. 90? No. Yeah. There's only one. Alyssa yeah, Steamer. That's it. Yeah. And that's it. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely get into that. That's so cool, man. Yeah. It's cool. It's a cool thing. Yeah. It's a new thing. It's cool. I love seeing that. They, oh, man. Yeah. It's it new, cool. Dude, it's, I'm telling you, it's it's going on right now. Yeah, for and sure. And th these girls are progressing like. Yeah. It's amazing. learning all this stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Learning yeah. all these tricks. Yeah. It's funny that we even, it's like, yeah, it's oh, like, me, but it was a male dominated sport. Not only that, so it's an outcast league. Yeah, for sure. Not, it's not like, now it's mainstream. Yeah. Also, while we're at it, let's try to get Chad Muska on this show. We need to yeah, get Chad so Muska. Chad, um, uh, Chad, if you, if you happen to listen. Yeah, <laughs> you never know who's listening, this Steve. This TV Weeby show, yeah. I'm a huge fan of yours ever since, e even pre-shorties. Wow. I'm a fan. Toy I'm, Machine. And Toy Machine. Yeah. I'm a fan. I love your art. I love Muska Beats. I love it all. We love you on the Stevie Weeby Show. Yeah. We would love to have you on. Paulo Diaz played drums on the Muska Beats album. That's like, crazy. Yeah, like a, Paulo Diaz, you're always welcome. Day one song. You're honorary member here. It. You could always come. We would love to have you on here. That'd be crazy. To I would probably be shaking the whole time if he was here. It's wild. That's crazy. But you never know. I'm just trying to keep this thing going. Um, but let's uh, let's start promoting. Um, I want like your yeah. website, your yeah. Insta, all that. For your sure. Upcoming shows. Uh, I'm at mostly sorry on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I should have left my phone on. I put everything up there. But Kill mm -hmm. Tony's going to uh, Calgary, Alberta. Mm -hmm. I believe on the 23rd. Mm -hmm. uh, oh fuck! Everything's on my everything's on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Just follow me at mostly sorry. What's I the, post what's everything. This? Is that Oh, Luca. this is a company that like sponsors me. They send me stuff. Oh, They're, that's what's uh, up. Can yeah. we give them a shout out, Luca? Yeah. Shout out to Luca Clothing shout Company. Out to yeah. Luca Clothing. Follow them on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. At, Where are they at, located? At Luca, I believe they're in Atlanta. I like their. I like the the yeah. lettering. Yeah, they see the back. Okay, it's pretty Ooh. cool. Pretty tight. Uh, they've been very nice yeah, it looks to me. Like tattoo style. Yeah, a few. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I want tattoos. That's how. That's for another episode. I was gonna ask I you what you, you think. Some. I don't I have none. Oh, you gotta get. I it. want some. Yeah, I want to know your. Get some ink, dude. <laughs> All right. You dr you're a drummer. You're. I know. We were Blink One Eighty Two last night for the for Kill Tony because we <laughs> dressed up. I was Travis Barker. Okay, I had to, one, yeah. Can we do another uh, to Tom DeLonge? Yeah, Tom okay. DeLonge, Poway High School, okay, right? Yeah, yeah, 93. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold up. Say it out to the world. Do, do it slow and, and clear. Okay. Give Tom a message. So look, it just feels like the universe is swirling right now, right? I, we were Blink-182 last night on Kill Tony. Kill Tony's where I met Steve. You know, um, you know, Poway High School, Tom, 1993. Let's just make it happen, dude. Just come on the show. Come kick it with the homie. Uh, Please. You know, I think it's going to, I think, I, if, I feel good about it. I feel like this is, you know, it's got to happen. Tell him why, tell Tom why he should do it. Um, you know. <laughs> well, alma mater, Tom. Yeah. Did you guys. We went you, to the same middle school and high school. Tom, homecoming king. Homecoming king. Tom, Rich Salo, Dan Rogers. You don't remember wow, all of us? Wow, those are deep cuts, man. You see you that? You don't remember your history. Wow! Don't you know. try. Don't forget your history. We know where you come from. Hey, I want to get your music albums. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Shout yeah. Oh, um, so music? Pat Reagan and the Baby Boys on Spotify. Oh. Also, um, my my punk album I did when I was seventeen is on uh, SoundCloud. So it's a uh, soundcloud.com slash one against one, and it's spelled out O N E against O N E. Say it one uh, more time, clear. Yeah, clear, okay. SoundCloud.com slash one against yeah. one. That's me singing for a punk band when I was 17. Uh, mm -hmm. And I did that with uh, my buddy Doug, who was in The Descendants. Okay. So, pretty cool. Do and then you, you had another album? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah we yeah. had two albums out. So, uh, Pat Reagan and the Baby Boys. So, on Spotify, put in uh, Pat Reagan or Pat Reagan and the Baby Boys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It'll pop up. Or message me on Instagram. I'll send you the link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill Tony, or you have any future? Uh, um, yeah, we got to. I, my, yeah, I turn my phone off like a doofus. But okay. we go to. Um, How about this? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Say no, no, no. Go ahead. How about? Uh, I was just gonna say. Um, I could put on the uh, the description box. Okay. Once you find it, I'll do that for your yeah. episode. I could put. Okay. The, the dates. Yeah. On the description box. Yeah, we're going everywhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. East yeah. Coast, West. Can you give me uh, proximity? Yeah, we're doing. Um, so we're doing uh, Calgary, Alberta, on the twenty third. We go to Vancouver <sighs> next month. Uh, we go to Swansea, Massachusetts in February. Then we go to Boston in March. Uh, all kinds of stuff, man. It's all it's all cracking, dude. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, 
What does your mom think about? She loves it, dude. It's it's kind of incredible, especially because I dropped out, dude. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, your mom must be so proud. Yeah, my mom and dad are excited, man. You're like, hey, I'm going to Canada. Yeah. I'm touring here. Yeah. I'm doing this. I'll even make it even more sentimental. My mom's in a wheelchair. It's fine. She's great, positive person. But she told me that she feels like she gets to see the world through me. So that's pretty awesome, you know. Oh, dude, you don't want to see me cry. Oh, dude. Actually, I do. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. (laughs) I don't. That's Should a beautiful thing. Hey, man, let me give you another. Do it. Can't pound you enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. I mean, I can't dab yeah, no, you No, I got it. I got it. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't pound you enough. Isolate that sound bite and uh, put it everywhere. I can't <laughs> high five you enough. I'm so sorry. No, that came that's off great. so wrong. It's great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. I can't pound I can't you enough. <laughs> Can't get pounded Next time enough. You gotta dip, dip some Vaseline up your ass. That's right, dude. So I can pound you some more. Um, so we have a Patreon attached to the show. Go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Become a pledge. Become a patron. Help this keep surviving and going. Okay? Yeah. Um, uh, go to StevieWeebyShow.com. Um, you know, that's a website attached to the show. Uh, the new patrons this week are Brian and Mike Roy. Shout out to those two. Um, I have all my music at StevieWeebyBandCamp.com and shout out to the new people who bu- have bought music uh, recently. Uh, Scott Cole, Shane Mullen, David Barthol- Bartholio, Jason uh, Gishbrecht, uh, Michael Martinez. Okay. Uh, the Instagram attached to the show is Instagram slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. Going back to the Bandcamp, I, had, I have finished the EP. I'm mixing it down right now. It's a, a EP called Ode to My Pops. It's a... Uh, and so I'm still mixing it down. It's gonna be down. It's gonna be out shortly. It's gonna be on my Bandcamp first. And then in the future, we're gonna do uh, videos, and it's gonna be on the streaming sites like Spotify and all that. Tight. Um, more the, for more content, go to my YouTube channel, YouTube.com/stevieweeby. We we have vlogs up. We have puzzle. We, we're working on some new puzzle videos about to drop. I love you on um, the street, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's oh, that's dropping. We have a new one dropping tomorrow as awesome. well. Awesome. Uh, clips. Um. Cooking vlogs, streety, etc. We're still doing more content. We just want to for 2020. We're just trying to come up with a new. Yeah, the thing about with, push. with people and content, you gotta hit them with the next thing. Yeah, it's their attention. That brings me to this. My yeah, phone yeah. is go now ahead. on. Can I drop? Oh yeah, it? go ahead. Yeah, drop it. Drop or it. you want to do yours? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And then, All right. Then I'll drop it. So we're going to kill Tony at the Laugh Stop, mm-hmm. Calgary, Alberta, January 23rd. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, February 21st, we're going to do uh, Just for Laughs Northwest in Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, uh, Swansea, Massachusetts, February 29th. Uh, 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 and then uh, the winery in Ventura, California, March 12th. Uh, Laugh uh, Boston, uh, April 9th. All right, thanks a lot. Boston's a dope town. Should dude. be fun, yeah. So excited. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you really yeah, can't pound yeah. me enough, dude. I like you, man. <laughs> The Pixies, man. Boston Pixies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout um, out so to Frank if, Black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Joey Santiago and Frank Black yeah. and Kim Deal. I want to live in Los Angeles. Oh, love it. Love it. Can't get enough of them. Um, send stuff. If you like, um, if you want to send more puzzles or just stuff to the P.O. Box to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. Um, shout out to uh, Lasco Projects, Necroelectric, Movies with Malice, and Riffin with Griffin. And uh, Tiger Belly. And with that being said, how about an elbow instead? Okay, we're out of here. Hell yeah.